Hey, hey, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking about the Endo Diet Made Simple, and I did my best to actually simplify it to the point that you don't have to search anything else about the endo diet is literally everything in this short video so if you never heard about it if it's still not clear for you i made sure that i i got everything in this short video to cover absolutely everything okay so what is endometriosis diet uh, first, we have to understand endometriosis and the inflammation. So endo diet is called endometriosis diet. is anti-inflammatory diet that helps you uh, get rid of uh, most of the symptoms. They f First, before they uh, disappear completely, they're going to get more mild. So your cramps uh, get more mild and uh, all uh, symptoms uh, such as endo belly. Uh, and they they're gonna minimalize and if you implement the anti-inflammatory diet the endo diet uh, for a long period of time if you make it a lifestyle then you might wake up one day like myself being endo free for six years absolutely no symptoms whatsoever okay so endometriosis diet is basically the diet that focus on giving our body the good things that uh, contribute to our healing and eliminating the bad things that make our symptoms worse this is as simple as it is okay and how does it help our body? It's help our body by not contributing to our um, endometriosis and worsening our state. You know, endometriosis itself is difficult illness to deal with, but if we have a chronic inflammation on top of it, uh, everything is even more difficult you know all of the sudden you you are bloated uh, all of the sudden all your symptoms are worse everything is more painful and it's just too much to bear so we have to um, in order to heal completely and using and uh, using the diet as the medicine we have to first focus on implementing diet and this is the, the simplest step okay why should you care because this is the key to your health and i have to tell you and be very honest no one's gonna care if you don't care okay so you have to take it very very seriously it's very simple a lot of girls are doing it and i'm sure you can do it too so what are the principles of endometriosis diet okay the very very important principles is uh, eliminating processed food you have to focus on whole unprocessed food so basically everything that is the most natural is better for your body processed it means that it's uh, we are need some kind of processing in order to eat the food so for example if you're frying the chips on the frying pan this is you processing it so the best thing is the ones that don't need a lot of processing <laughs> to make everything simple okay include anti-inflammatory foods such as fruits vegetables the green vegetables very very important fatty fish all the good fish all the good oils nuts seeds and healthy fats this is very important focus on the fiber rich foods for the gut health because a lot of girls with endometriosis have also a problem with our gut and the good food means nothing if we are not able to uh, digest it basically so focus on fiber rich foods for your gut health and choose organic and hormone free foods to reduce potential triggers so this is basically the principles of the endometriosis diet as simple as this so which food to include the food that you have to include is uh, such as uh, cruciferous vegetables which means all the green vegetables berries fatty fish spices healthy fats nuts seeds and herbal teas this is the foods to include if you need to know more i'm going to tell you more at the end of this video okay but now we are covering the basis the food to avoid processed and refined foods processed sugar trans fats it means all the oils that you are cooking on sadly excessive caffeine alcohol 
and potentially gluten and dairy that are also um, showed that they are worsening our symptoms. So that's are the foods to avoid. Practical tips for the implementation. As you can see on this picture, there are three practical tips that I can give you from my 20 years of living with endometriosis and my six years of being completely endo-free. First practical tip, you are going to sleep. You, it's not going to be perfect, right? You are going to sleep, but and you have to prepare what to do when you sleep, okay? So to minimize uh, of the, uh, the risk of falling back, you know, from, from your healthy habits, you have to batch the food. So number one, batch the food. So it doesn't catch you by surprise, like you're going somewhere and then you're hungry and you don't have anything to eat. So you're going to buy chips. No, you have to batch the food. And if you know you're not going to have the time, you're taking the food with you. So batching the food a few days in advance is absolutely very, very important. The number two, is your hormones. We women have two rhythms, infradian and circadian. So you have to eat according to your rhythm. What that means, before your period, your body will need more, more energy because your body is storing the energy in order of eventual pregnancy. That's why before period you're feeling more fatigue. So what we do, we are uh, searching for the sources of energy such as refined sugar. So please be mindful and uh, know in which part of the cycle you are. So you know how to biohack your endometriosis using food in this specific uh, part of the cycle. So for example, before the period, you know you're going to have a lot of cravings. So just increase uh, your intake uh, of um, fruits natural sugar. Just top up with natural sugars so you don't crave the refined sugars, okay? If you have to eat something sweet, let that be natural. And the third thing, the the thing that is gonna <laughs> mess up with your uh, good intentions is a sugar. We are addicted of sugar and we are craving it so much and it makes it so difficult. I think this is the most difficult part in all endo diet, the sugar addiction, how to break it before, because the most, the more we eat the sugar, the more we create the bad environment in our guts. We also create environment for bacteria that are literally uh, preying on the sugar. So in, for those bacteria to survive, they're sending a signal to eat even more sugar. So sometimes we're eating more sugar, not because we want to, but because we have the bad, bad bacteria to feed of sugar. So this is so, so important, you know, the sugar, oh, so important. So that's the tips for implementation, the practical one. Additional lifestyle consideration. I will give you two of them. First of all, is the managing stress. This is so important because some of us, when we are stressed, what we do, we eat. Mm -hmm. When we need a love and we need to be hugged and we need some affection, what would, do we do? We eat. And we eat the sugary things because subconsciously they are remind us of our mother's milk. Yes. And our mother's milk is what? Is fatty and is sugary. And we don't know that as a, you know, grow up human beings, why we're choosing this kind of comfort food, but this is what it is. So we have to know uh, how to manage our stress and we have to um, recognize the human hungers. Okay. And the last one move this is so important i know when we have endometriosis the last thing we want is move but the girl yoga especially yoga if you don't have energy for any like a lot of activities like burpees things i hate them with passion too okay but the yoga is so so important because all the twists, they are not only release the gases from your stomach, they also stretch your muscles. So they release the muscle tension. So there is the less cramps. And they help you with a blood flow to your ovaries. There's so, so, so many benefits 
from simple yoga. So even like 10 minutes a day, okay? Just try to implement it. And girl, you got this. I'm here to support you. I'm going to link um, in the comment section. I'm going to link my email so you can reach me at any time, any point. If you need any resources for free or if you need any advice, please don't hesitate to reach out. I hope this video was helpful and sending you so much love. You got this.